We're at Falls Creek in New South Wales. I won't say whose place we're at. We're going to do a bit of a demonstration on setting up the gun for vaccinating of pigeons for PMV, parvo mixovirus. Uh, nothing high key, just says explaining the Australian language. Uh, the gun will come like so. What I'll do first up, we'll attach the, the vial which will contain the vaccine in the end. We'll be doing the birds. We'll fill it up with some warm H2O. If you haven't got the H2O available, you can use warm water. This is just to flush the gun and get things started. Props, props, makeup. One thing you might find um, is a ball bearing valve in this unit here, which screws on top of your, your vial. It may get stuck at times, uh, when it, only when it's new, and so it might take some priming in the gun. So we're going to prime the gun using the warm water. If I can get this on correctly. Uh, all we've done there is just fill this up with the warm water, which we're going to flush this to get the gun primed up and to make sure that ball, be ball bearing is in the correct spot. It's fitted on and twisted into place. Screwing like that will tighten this as well as tighten that. I need a Phillips head screwdriver to tighten this up, which I'll do off camera. All we're doing now is trying to make sure the gun's going to work and prime it up. Yes, that looks good, doesn't it? It's working. Take five, Dave. <laughs> Slight problem there, we've had to tighten up this screw, which you'll find might be loose after manufacture. That'll stop your shaft from wheeling around. Take it out, Dave. Okay, we'll cut back in now. I've just removed this plastic, uh, aluminium cap off the top of the uh, vaccine bottle. you see there are three holes, which we'll use firstly to extract the, the vaccine from the vial to be installed into, uh, and filled into the, um, the vaccination vial. Uh, you'll notice there are three pre-punched holes there, or soft area holes. In one we'll stick the um, extraction syringe, which may not be in the pack, um, and we'll then insert another syringe, uh, a needle, into the other hole there, which will release vacuum as the uh, vaccine is drawn from the bottle. Cut. Syringe to extract the Three holes in the top? Uh, unfortunately the vet from whom we purchased the kit didn't give us the extraction uh, syringe, but we managed to find one in the cupboard. Uh, the point now is this will be a syringe where we extract from the vaccine bottle to go into the vaccine vial, which goes on top of the gun. The big needle on here, it's the wide gauge needle. Take the smaller gauge needle and stick it into one of the three marked spots on the bottle. Ask your mate to hold the bottle like such. Oh, up, upwards first. Insert the extraction syringe. He flips it back up again. Normally with this will hold about uh, I think 50 mils which is enough doses for 100 birds. Well at this point we're going to vaccinate about 10 birds so we'll just extract about five mils, no sorry, 20 birds we got, so we'll extract about 10 mils to put into this vial. Like, hang back, mate, hang back. Go back vertical. That would probably be enough for us. Hang on with this, mate. Have your mate hang on the bottle so you don't spill anything. The vaccine is very thick and oily, so sometimes hard to eject. Time out. Uh, the top can then be screwed back onto the file, um, which will go on top of our gun. One thing I didn't mention earlier is the uh, vaccine bottle in the initial uh, 500 mils sometimes requires a good shaking. You'll find that the you'll see a lighter coloured liquid floating on top and the white mix down below. It has to be uh, mixed. There's an emulsifier in there which combines the water material with the oil-based material. So make sure it's shaked up well, shaken well so you have a, a good white mix. The file in that goes on top of the gun, pushed and with a twist motion, once again it will tighten up. We then again need to tighten this per chance. Then as I say, once we start ejecting the uh, fluid via the gun, 
at its 5mm dose rate. That will create a vacuum within this vial here, so we insert this small needle once again to release the vacuum from that vial as we vaccinate. It will then be supplied, you will have been supplied with <coughs> 18 gauge 9mm long injection needles, which I'll try to extract. These, according to the manufacturers or the instructions on the pack, are good for a 150 to two, uh, maybe 200, 300 doses. We have, in fact, used them up to 400. But from the right source, they're only about 70 cents each. It's fitted to the gun in a press and twist motion. I like to have. Um, the point of a needle is camfered downwards like that. I like that to have that pacing down, which will be to the bottom of the gun, which means the finest point will be at the bottom, bottom edge of the gun. Having trouble here. That's, pretty, that's your gun in the vertical position. And you can see the point is pointing in that direction there, which is better for uh, when you inject the bird. Time out, Dave. What we're doing here is, this, well, my mate here is pulling the feathers forward to expose the skin. Now these are show Birmingham rollers, they've got way too much fluff, um, so you're not going to see uh, the skin exposed. Um, but we'll just do a, a, a practice run here, or a, a demonstration run, and then we will pluck some feathers so you can see what's going on. But as I say, my mate pulls the, the fluff forward, or pulls the feathers forward, I then pull the feathers up so I can see the skin, under the bird's neck and apply the dose. The point I make here is we aren't coming in from the side, we aren't coming in down from the top. I'm coming in parallel to the bird's back. So that we lift the skin after it's exposed by my mate and then we get in just under the skin into the full nine mils of the uh, syringe and then we apply the trigger, extract the trigger and then extract the needle. Cut. Okay. <laughs> Once again, my assistant pulls the feathers forward and pulls the neck slightly forward. I then lift the feathers from my angle to find the skin under the feather. We go in just under the skin to the length of the needle, apply the trigger, pull the trigger back and extract. On. Okay, my mate here has plucked some feathers to make this a bit more obvious of getting under the skin. He's pulled it forward. I'll be then pulling, pulling the skin up by the feathers at this point here inserting the needle under the skin to the full nine mils, inject, release, extract. Uh, my cameraman's informed me that he wasn't happy with the angle we had before, so we're gonna try it from here now. I'll need a bit, a bit more relaxed there, Ricky. Um, different angle, oh, there we go, lost a feather. We'll get this right so you can see what's going on through the skin. I pull the skin forward. We don't wanna go through there, that's the spinal cord, would cause damage, or the carotid artery is down the side. We pull the skin away, in under the skin, inject, you can see the bubble formed in there, release and extract. Okay, cameraman's requested uh, a bit more exposure of skin so we can get this right for the demonstration. Uh, we've plucked another bird, I'm extract, pulling the skin up after my mate's extended the neck, I've gone in, injected, release, extract. All we're going to do now is I'll give you a bit of a description of how to clean this thing up, although most of you will know how to do that. We extract this uh, vacuum release needle, we'll knock the top off this. At this point I just put it up, uh, put the gun under hot water uh, from the tap and keep squeezing the needle to flush out the uh, excess vaccine. I have then just left it soak overnight in a small tub with um, detergent in there which will once again release the oils and that. Likewise with this here, you can remove this cap if you wish. Once you can hold it under the top of the hot water, give it a good flush with the hot water and then soak it in um, you know, a weak detergent mix overnight. Then once again the following day, give it a good flush out with hot water again. And she's clean and ready to go for next time. Over and out, see ya.